hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll discuss how to export a spool file from an as400 to windows pc uh, basically in a safe file so i'll be discussing the same here so i'll be discussing the approach uh, how we can perform this so that's very simple so the there are few steps to perform uh, which I'll be doing uh, one by one so that you can easily uh, download or export a spool file uh, from an AS400 to Windows PC uh, in a safe file. So let's just start. So first of all I need a spool file or a list of spool files. So I did work SPLF so I find where spool files. Now you can see these are all the spool files. So let's say I want these, not all of them. Let's say these three. So I want all these, uh, this one, this one, this one, uh, to be downloaded from AS100 to Windows PC. So what I'll be doing, so first thing is to the first step is to create an out queue. So let me create an out queue. So that out queue, let's give a name sample out queue. Its library is easy class one. Okay, so that's all here. Now it's created. So you can see uh, sample out queue out queue is created in library this. Now this was the first step. Now the second step is to just do work SPLF and you'll find this uh, these such spool files. And if you don't have any, you can generate a spool file by compiling any source member or you can generate your own spool file whatever you are from any program now let's change so we have option 2 here for change so let's take option 2 on all these three just press enter just take F10 and paste down so here is the out queue so you need to change the out queue name now out queue is sample out queue and the library is easy class one just press enter just f10 again paste down sample out queue easy class one sample out queue easy class one just take a five so you can see now all those change to the sample out queue and now just do work out queue here sample out queue so you can see all these three spool files are here in the sample out queue which I saved. Now this is the time to create a save file. Just use create savf command to create a save file. Savf1 in library this. So just do work object savf1. So you can see that save file is created here now just save the out queue so just use save obj take f4 so object is my out queue so out queue is sample out queue uh, which generally or right now contains those three these three save files these three spool files so sample out queue lib is easy class 1 this is star savf 
see file name is sfbf1 and this is library of the save file target release would be star current here and just paste down once more so you will find spool file data so here just take f4 and you need to select the star all in place of star none so so we will save the spool file data as well which is there in the out queue just press enter one object saved in library this so just do dspsavf easy class one slash savf1 so in this you can see a sample out queue is saved which is an out queue present in this library which is saved from this library just do five on this you will see that all this pool file which are there in the out queue are saved because we opt for spool file data as a star all while saving the uh, out queue in the save file so now we have the save file which has the out queue as well as the spool file there which is present in the out queue now this is the time to download that from AS funded to our windows pc so just do windows s Just do run cmd now from here what we'll do is just navigate to to desktop cd space desktop now just do ftp puff 400.com yep. username password so we are successfully logged in now just use bin to change to binary mode and now just use get command slash uses dot lib easy class one dot lib so from this path we will be getting the save file so we will basically be uh, downloading the save file from this location and the save file name is savf1.savf savf1.savf and now we will be downloading it to the windows pc that is on desktop now we can either give the same name or we can change the name so let's say give it the same name for now just press enter now it is retrieving and uh, downloading is successful here so you can see save f1.savf is downloaded here now we have uh, the save file which has the out queue as well as the spool file data now we can upload it on any other machine or we can send it to any product or somewhere else and there we can access those spool files so just quit from here just exit from here so here you learnt uh, how you can export a spool file from as funded to windows pc in a safe file so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice